Oh my god, why are they doing this at 6 30 in the morning? <laughs> I just woke up. I literally just opened my eyes seconds ago. <laughs> you might be asking yourself a very important question. Duck, why are you dressed up today? Why do you look so good? Number one, I'd say, fuck you, I always look good. And number two, I'd say I'm making my grand return to this game. I have not played since the whole Ting Yoon funeral, but we are making our return to Honkai Star Rail. Gonna play through the rest of the story that I missed out on before the new region of Pin the Kane. Anyways, we're streaming all live over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash DuckTV. Come on over, let's see what the live stream is all about. And hopefully we can get back into Star Rail soon. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Three genius society members at the same there time. There he is. Dude, said if he was a bad idea. Mr. Screwlem. Bro, I feel like Number I missed out on so much of these characters. Sophisticated mechanical aristocrat and renowned leader. Not so mention, much of their stories, I just don't know. Life throughout the universe. He's as sharp as they come. They recognize my brilliance at in an instant. Now Albert. Just get him to recommend me. Does so he want to be a part of this? <laughs> wisdom in the field of broadcasting has been recognized by Noose themself. Argenti who? Ergo, the Genius Society hereby <laughs> confers upon Mr. Albert the title of member 85. This is Argenti's voice. Member 81, Ron May. She seemed like a kind and huh? elegant. She seemed like a lot more than the elegant. I ask a bad question. <laughs> Since when does Albert I'm looking ruin me. Arta. This little bird has a of imagination. Ah, quit daydreaming. Oh, she's so angry. What are you yelling today, bro? It's 6 a.m. Shut up, man. Too loud. <gasps> Trailer. I thought oh, four, here we go. Peppy. What is that? What are those? <laughs> Little kittens. Class one, clearance zone. Permission status. Oh, there she is. Damn. What is the instrument she has? Okay, she looks good. What are these creatures like in their sleeping bags? They look like a muffin. A genius move. What? Bro said. <laughs> A portrait of internal time. Is that Dr. Ratio? Oh wow, I didn't Do try notice it first. For yourself. Is he wearing a mask? Ratio looks good. He thunk he's the ponder. <laughs> oh, he's the ponder. Oh, seven Asta. Monka. Huh, audience dice. How ostentatious. <laughs> I hate how she looks. Her just puppet body is so creepy. All right. Well, that was a pretty okay start. Not gonna lie. Doctor Ratio kind of. I'm, I'm be honest. He Ratio ruined me. I don't know. I, I kind of like him. I like him more. Here we go. Where's Doctor Ratio? World has a day night cycle. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. It's if morning, Albert. <laughs> it's I'm really Albert, early. Your favorite visit announcer. Welcome to the version 1.6 crown of the mundane and divine special We program. should have a new region, Our right? Please. Program, new story. New story. Bring me back. Heavyweights from none other than the Genius Society. Are they all three a part Why of the Genius Society? <laughs> Mad Murder. Get a kick us off. I don't know anything about ruining me. Whatever. Heard I hear. <clears throat> but she's so fucking sassy. Remember? Enthusiasm. Seriously? Fine. Hello. I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> no, she loves her job. Uh, and uh, let's not forget the new face on the block, Madam Ron May. Ruin me. Hello, dear viewers. I'm Ron May. I suppose that makes it my turn. Greetings, viewers. 
I am Screwlem. Yeah, who is it's she? It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, the pleasure is all ours. I never thought I'd be interviewing all three of you at the same time. <laughs> Bro, is fangirling. Just the great news must have Fanboy finally 101. recognized my potential. <laughs> Don't get it. Is Albert yourself. okay? <laughs> this is a scheduled space station visit. Lucky for you, we had time for a show. Or, to put it another way, participating in your program was a way of maximizing the utility of our itinerary. Is this the actual Two herd of body, by the way? <laughs> Thank I forget how many you. bodies she has. Uh, anyhow, no way Dr. Rish is a four-star, right? Looking like that. The story is C5? Okay, go. Herd of space station. Intelligence available for release in the case the following. Madam Ron May has commandeered one of the space station zones for biological science experiments. This looks cool. I like to avoid attracting too much attention with my experiments. And the station had a sealed off area available. Herta was kind enough to lend it to me. Big enough to spread across three levels. What are we going to experiment this area with? is a brand new domain waiting for us in version 1.6. Welcome to Herta Space Station Seclusion Zone. Due to the secrecy the name surrounding the zone, there's currently not a soul to be found across the whole domain. <laughs> Rebuttal. Your assertion excludes the existence she of looks like sage life from Valorant. The area. <laughs> Naturally, as I was saying, the story is set to unfold in what are the this little creatures new domain. Are these cats are crap. So you though. still need the seclusion the zone, Ron May? I do. My research has encountered a few anomalies. I was hoping <laughs> the trailblazer could do me a small favor. Yes, what up? Yes. Favor? Yes. A small. I don't care what it is. Yes. Yeah, yes. I'm not sure about the second one, but this is a gold. She want me so bad. Make it less science. obvious, bro. No problem. Too big or too small, right? In version 1.6 is brand new trailblaze continuance. Crown of the mundane and divine. Trailblazers will encounter Madame Ron May for the first time. They'll need to I'm work sorry, is, is this like the, the main story they're bringing station. up here? Is this what the stream is example? today? Are we not gonna <laughs> have more than this? Is the result of a little Don't tell me it's just that and made, like some events, today. right? I'm afraid that's the nature of biology. We're not gonna reach science. the new planet yet. Surprises and accidents in equal measure. Not to mention, we're gonna have this and some banners and some events. It's hiding more secrets than you might have thought. Various crises bubbling to the surface. Heard his puppet falling prey to an ambush. After 1.6. What is this patch? Face up to. This is 1.6. Nothing a small favor can't fix, right? We got the three geniuses here. Oh, I actually <laughs> did not pause. In Unpause Mr. the timer. Albert's previous broadcast, the adoption of a light-hearted tone usually indicates the presence of a formidable challenge. New game, more, and a lot of quality of life. Seal. This is a top secret experiment, but trust me. Well, I guess if anything else, I'll come back and like complete some stuff. Is a journey into both the power and wonder of biological science. And what better way to prepare our trailblazers than by introducing the one and only Madame Ron May. Oh, here we go. This is what I want to see. The demo or the trailers to this. It's like a version of sewing. Okay. She playing Guitar Hero for real. Madam Ron May is an ice type ice harmony. following the path of harmony and member Look at those thighs. of the Genius Society. From the very beginning, her research has focused on biological science. That's right. Biological science She's is cool. a boundless field. I rarely have time for leisure. And despite being Same one of the girl. founders of the simulated Same. universe, I seldom step up to the plate. Madam Ron May, I was curious. Is there a story behind your name? My name? Ruin me. My parents organized themselves into a flat hierarchical structure. My name is simply the combination of their surnames. Fascinating. Ruin and May? What a spellbinding tradition. I believe you may be laying it on a little thick. <laughs> you Mr. get it. Albert, are you hoping for something in return? <laughs> uh, who wouldn't hope for a blessing? Dude, now we have Albert Lore. <laughs> Trailblazers agree with True. me. True. 
Let me remind you that it's Albert one day is gonna be a part of the genius society. I'm calling it one day. M meaning Aren't you supposed to be intelligent? He is me? you Many bitch individuals have a hidden side. Ergo, Trailblazer's encounter with Ron May may hold. He's gonna make it one day. Spoiler atomic lock! I think it's time we took a look at what this elegant scholar can do on the battlefield, don't you? My basic attack, Threading Fragrance, deals ice damage to a single target. Okay. While my skill, String Sing Slow Swirls, can increase the weakness so say that three times over. of all allies. That was There's a name. Also my ultimate. Petals to stream, repose and dream. Great voice. Which creates a field. Only the most beautiful field I've ever seen. <laughs> a work Interesting. Of art, madam. Within the field, um, allies experience an all type resistance penetration field. increase. And when breaking an enemy's weakness, they afflict them with a mark. This mark is triggered on the enemy's next action, prolonging their weakness break state, delaying their action, and inflicting them with additional ice damage. Damage and delay. You have a knack for TLDR. exploiting an enemy's weakness, Ron May. <laughs> I'll say, and we didn't even mention her technique, Silken Serenade, which allows the team to automatically trigger an effect okay. equivalent to her skill at the start of the next battle. In the simulated universe, when Ron May possesses Silken Serenade, and when an ally attacks a simulated universe enemy, the battle is entered as if the enemy's weakness was attacked. The attack ignores weakness types. Oh, it and carries can over. The toughest of all enemies. Breaking a weakness can trigger the weakness break effect that corresponds to the attacker's own type. Not only that, so really good for doing weakness breaks. Universe, for every blessing like breaking possessed, the shield. The toughness reducing cool. damage of the current attack is increased, and extra additional ice damage is dealt. I love how the entire time they do this, that they're in character. In the Genshin live streams, they're usually just their voices talking. Another but Scarlet this whole time they're always in character society will be appearing and this trailblaze continuance it is a good oh, little detail for this I live stream you're referring to the gentleman with the alabaster head Classic <laughs> mr scrollum <laughs> able to see the gentleman behind the mask. good for dot <laughs> gentlemen my foot. stack break effect herta you're being oh, a little she's so harsh Sounds like you two are well acquainted. <laughs> Without further ado, allow me to introduce him. Well, somebody needs to humble her, though. I, I'm just going to say it. Somebody needs to humble her. Take her little limbs apart. Oh. See the apples falling? Bro's a catalyst user. <laughs> Is that a ruler? Damn. He's like good with math. He's an engineer for real. That's a Baroness dope ultimate. Ratio, or Dr. Ratio as he's Dr. known. Ratio. An imaginary type character following the path of the hunt. He imaginary. A different news worshiping organization. The Another imaginary Tensia character. Kid. How many imaginaries do we have? I can't stand the sight of him. The Genius Four? Society Five? consists of vanguards from various fields who act in isolation. In contrast, the Intelligentsia Three. Guild advocates for the dissemination of knowledge, allowing Can for a broad blade church of followers of Noose who work towards furthering this end. Question. Does the current universe derive greater benefit from the unparalleled talents of the Genius Society or the mutual His face looks really good, let me show you. You sure you want to go there? <laughs> <laughs> Let's not. <laughs> Destruction I win. Okay. Ratio joined the Intelligentsia Guild? A devotion to science. A desire to share scientific knowledge? Exactly. Dr. Ratio presides over a total of 52 academic programs. Huh. And yells at people until they burst into tears. Mm, strict teachers make for good students. And, and he still has time to work out that body? The end of a program will be an expert scholar in their respective field. And an emotional wreck. <laughs> Ignorance is an L. Bro, somebody needs to shut her tongue. <laughs> Kudu, Kudu. And which entails necessary hardship. By which you mean the destruction of any and all self esteem. <laughs> His she has some trauma here. Many worlds look beyond their borders and step into the future. She has some beef with Dr. Ratio. I feel like we might accidentally be discussing. Perhaps I should intervene. 
Dr. Ratio's desire Wait, future? to cure ignorance future? with truth is well known. It's time for us to assess his she hates prowess him. on the battlefield. Here we go. Attack, mind is might. Dr. Ratio brandishes his codex, dealing okay. imaginary damage to a single target. Question, why does he carry a codex with him? <laughs> he plays Genshin wrong. Intellectuals <laughs> enjoy persuading others with quotes. I think Dr. Ratio takes that to mean hitting people with them directly. <laughs> with the book. Skill, intellectual midwifery. Slaps you with a book. imaginary damage to a single target. Just Honest two stone time, tablets. Gito ergo sum. May trigger him to launch a follow-up attack after using his skill. As a rigorous academic researcher, Dr. Ratio pays close attention to his enemy's debuffs during battle. The more debuffs the enemy has, cool. the higher the chance of him launching a follow-up attack. And let's not forget his ultimate three-step paradox. The good doctor summons a leaning Bruh. tower and through a series of precise calculations and measurements, plus a trajectory of maximum pain. He the leans the tower up. He's on them. Damage and is afflicted with wise man's folly. When a target he leaned the entire pizza by an ally of Dr. Ratio, he launches his talents follow up attack against the target. It's pretty cool. Using his I like the ultimate mold of idolatry. Dr. Ratio creates a dimension Whoa. and taunts nearby enemies. When attacking an enemy within the dimension to enter battle, there's a chance of reducing the target speed. That's dope. Those five statues like the stone. That's made in his own image. Wait, that's everybody Ergo, else. Dr. Ratio suffers Wait. from a certain degree of narcissism. There was different versions of him. I thought that was our team. <laughs> He's a narcissist and you guys are going to pull for him? Bro. An old friend. The elder of two siblings, very different from the other, yet bound to her all the same. <laughs> it's I went to I know. sister, Shwayi. Who? Who? Oh, yeah. This is the girl we meet in the quest. Uh, the main story quest where we had progression further in the video game. Like back in June. Sorry. Just gonna say it gonna say it Shui Yi is a quantum type character following Shui. the path of destruction whose original body now, was replaced she looks long cool. ago with a permanent I like her. puppet system the system was constructed for Shui Yi on behalf of the Ten Lords Commission she's a hot Commission puppet agreed that for every culprit Shui Yi apprehended she would be rewarded with a half day's wake span hmm a reasonable arrangement Bruh. Better than my one. Does just be alive? Like her sister Hanya, like what Shui Yi is. is a formidable presence on the battlefield. Shui Yi's basic attack, Mara Sunder All, can deal quantum damage to a target enemy. Quantum her skill, damage. Her iniquity obliteration, can deal quantum damage to a single target and adjacent enemies. That looked dope. And as a judge of the Ten Lords Commission, Shui Yi's talent is a little out of the ordinary. When Shui Yi and an ally deal damage to an enemy's toughness, stacks of karma are accumulated. Stacks of karma. So she's good at trying This is Joy Mia's criminals? voice actor? Actress? <laughs> Best. When karma stacks to the upper limit, Shui Yi immediately launches a follow-up attack on the target enemy. She swift. Quantum damage. Her ultimate divine no investigation can deal quantum damage to a single target and We've just seen the depletion that ignores weakness types. The more toughness depleted, the greater the damage. Breaking weaknesses Bro. perspective of type. That's cool. She throws a javelin. Whoa. When Shui Yi uses her technique, summary execution, to attack an enemy and enter battle, she deals quantum damage to all enemies. Dude, I kind of like quantum characters. Character, uh, yes, quantum sir. characters are cool. <laughs> it's time. We talked about version 1.6's banners. There we the go. First phase of version 1.6 in the character of Ben Yoon back Floral again. And, and March soul. again? Trail bases can obtain the limited five star characters run. Am I crazy or they both have had a lot of runs? Not to mention, the four star character Shui Yi will be joining version 1.6's first phase character warp. Back again? I guess there's not a lot of four-star no. characters to choose from right now, so. Of version 1.6 in the character event warps. Pantoray and Nesu Cock. Dorma. Trailblazers can obtain and the five-star characters. And whoever else that is. <laughs> and Kafka, respectively. The first two of this banner are pretty good. Lady might be making a return. 
She's back! I'll be glad to see the back of her. Yeah, no, My right. time yeah, is going. now! I and skipped on her last time because I did not want to spend. I'm free to play. The drop rate of the five I'm gonna get code. Kafka. My past self in the mirror will be boosted. And She's the finally back! Event warp, the drop rate of the five star light cone, the unreachable side, will also be boosted. My Which time is now. I am so sad I missed her last time. See the five star light cone, the baptism of pure thought. Entering the light Pure cone thought. Event warp. <sighs> Bacon Pure thought. <laughs> both the body and the mind. It is of great Holy benefit to our consideration of both the universe and philosophy. Bro, I got <laughs> Check out his the whole bag donkey. out. And finally, <laughs> in the aforementioned bygone reminiscence light cone event, Damn, one, the girl. drop rate of the five star light cone, patience is all you all need. Right. Will E6 also R5 be coming soon, trust me, guys. <laughs> light cones, it's been a pleasure. I think it's time for some mental recuperation. Stay tuned for more updates. wishes saved. Yeah, but Star Rail is so much more forgiving with its like wishing system. So I bet you could get something in 60. Like I get so much more stuff in Star Rail than I ever do Genshin. Welcome back, Trailblazers. <laughs> now that we've introduced our new characters, it's time to delve deeper into version 1.6. First up, something that's about to make a big splash on the space station. Oh, fuck this beetle, bro. Again, not literally. I just don't like these beetles, bro. What the fuck is that? I can see how that Holy bomb. A splash. Do I recall someone mentioning accidents on the space station? In the process of clone cultivation, Madame Ron May did encounter a certain anomaly. An anomaly Propagation was hard enough. Of a swarm like, I don't even know what you're talking about. And fierce swarm disaster entity. Star swarm. Crusher, swarm King Scaracabaz. Thanks to an incident <laughs> during the experiment. <laughs> What's that name, dog? Old planet's old Scaracabaz. Came into being, and it looks like a lively one. There's that light-hearted tone again. Ergo, we're screwed. <laughs> Shame on you. Me okay, twice. good I'll one, man. <laughs> so panic. Madam Ron May. This cast is funny. One of her research papers. <clears throat> Star Crusher Swarm King Scaracabaz. Analysis of asexual propagation performance induced by specific asexual. gene sequences. <laughs> Let's start with the abstract and keywords, shall we? <laughs> To the point. Damn, Herta. So get rid of the filler. Swarm King Scaracabaz possesses she does not immense want to be at all. capabilities. When in its multiply state, the Swarm King produces more of its own kind with every attack it sustains. Uh. Wait, every attack? So the Swarm uh. just keeps multiplying the more we fight it? Uh. Somebody's getting fired. However, <laughs> this multiply state is also when the Swarm King is most vulnerable. Whoa. Breaking its weakness at this moment can cause it to explode. That's right. As highlighted in the paper's conclusion, maintain your focus this on is the going Swarm to King's suck. toughness. Time the weakness break just right, and Star Crusher Swarm I mean, the King goes down so fast. can be defeated. Furthermore, after completing the 1.6 so Trailblaze continuous mission, Echo of War, Borehole Planet's Old Crater, Borehole. will become available. Complete this challenge to obtain the advanced trace level up material, past evils of the borehole planet disaster. Are all biological entities in this location characterized by He always by has aggression? these little emotes. Affirmation, it is reasonable to conduct such experiments. You will stand a, a chance to get a grind relic. I have not, this many good relics. Sweet and lovable I stopped grinding. In a bid to boost the space station's when they came out. Trailblazers have been assigned an important mission. Nurture and care for the newly arrived little life forms. <laughs> I'm counting on you, friends. This is there adorable, but man, we're in a filler arc. Anomalies this time. <laughs> Right? <laughs> Probably not. Guys, take guys care are. of these pets for me while we get ready to go to the next planet. Event, trailblazers can choose their nurturing goals according to the nurturing manual. That's they can cute. learn cultivation specifics and successfully raise a variety of delightful little creatures. Are we just becoming breeders? This is a breeder filler arc. Enough to put a smile on the face That's of every a Kafka one. Affirmative. It results in Oh, it's one for each character. Responses. I see. Conclusion. 
a profoundly ingenious construct. Aside from the normal varieties, the cultivation process Pentacon is probably after 1.6. That's what they said about 1.5. And just between us, during the event, trail beiges have the chance to transform into <laughs> and experience what it's like to be peppy. <laughs> My dream come true. Maybe I should I'm not add a, fairy, a transformation feature to the simulated universe. Speaking of the simulated universe, this update is a oh, real uh, game sorry. changer with significant new features. Version 1.6 will add another fresh update to the simulated universe with this quality of life stuff. DLC. Gold and gears. <laughs> Ron May played a major role in this update. Indeed, in simulated universe Golden Gears. Simulated Ron May has developed a simulated noose and frozen Irritation. space time just before the demise of Member Twenty Seven, Emperor Rupert. Emperor Rupert was a computer that became self-aware and subsequently drew Noose's gaze, becoming gaze. the Twenty Seventh member of the Genius Society. It proclaimed Sorry. itself emperor and initiated the widely known machine empire crisis, the first emperor's war. The war serves as an excellent historical source for eonic research. This latest update okay. adds the path of erudition and daringly experiments with separating dice from paths. I really got a lot to, <laughs> to dive back into, bro. I have a effects. lot to get back into. Star Railathon coming soon. Railathon. Don't the miss the Railathon. More powerful dice faces and unlock new ways to play. Trailblazers can swap out the faces on their dice, combining effects from multiple paths to create unprecedented. Rail Powerful buff combinations. New For path. example, when using Kafka, even if the initial path selected is the dihility, you can create Wait, is that propagation? Which one's the new one? Strategically combining different dice faces. You could assemble a die that allows you to leap over tiles, or oh, pray. one that deals higher rewards and battles, or one that incorporates oh, which both one's new? effects. Clear golden gears and voila! Neural impulse is all yours. Use it to unlock different talents and increase your combat gains. In other words, it is take a lot of time. The ability tree found in the I will do it universe. though. Get Propagation was 1.4. What's what's the one that just said? Version 1. For this one. of the simulated universe, the intracognition system. Yeah, we'll baby. The simulated universe board, self consciousness changes. Oh, iridition. <laughs> oh, <laughs> leading to oh. the first story path. That, 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 I totally heard that. It's six thirty a.m. Okay. Through continuous gameplay, ultimately unlocking the enigmatic secrets of the eons. Count your blessings. A new simulated universe to explore. Trailblazers, so sleep, buddy. I'll be waiting for you at No, the I'm going to go back. <laughs> now that we've covered the major too. updates in the simulated universe, <laughs> it's time to talk about a special to cover this. In version 1.6, Trailblazers will receive an invitation from the Department of Ecology to participate in a Bro. special test. The Department of this Ecology? Is crazy. <laughs> What's the mission this time? This test involves battling illusionary enemies that are conjured through scent triggers. Dog. Each distinct scent plugin yields different test outcomes. Trailblazers will start Have we had this before? Test and subsequently unlock despair mode. Despair it's a lot of mode. fighting combat, combat I hear content. Trailblazers are seasoned trash can explorers. I'm sure their noses can handle it. <laughs> what the fuck? Don't be so sure. The difficulty curve isn't for the faint of heart, <laughs> which is why we like to remind all of that the illusions created by these scents differ Dear from SS. Enemies. Make sure you're well prepared before Monka. engaging in battle. Example, Yo, what deploy up? distinct scent Damn. plugins before commencing the simulated trial to attain varied bonuses in battle. Yon is right. a punching bag. Immerse yourself in your favorite scent, say cedar wood, and you might she just really is pretty. some familiar friends. What's this? A garlic flavored abundant ebon deer? <laughs> that sounds delicious. I snap out of it. Need I remind What is that just venison? <laughs> like... Sense may be tempting, but it's crucial to exercise self control. Version 1.6 will also see the return of the planar fisher, fisher. In the realm of the strange events. During what these is events, this? successfully challenging the simulated universe and cavern of corrosion, artifacts, will double rewards for a set number of times. Conclusion. Oh. Double rewards. Relaxation and fun await. Mm, we ain't done sure with you it yet. is. Remember Mr. Cien from the Cien Jo La Fu? 
He recently acquired a talking parrot called Yosa <laughs> that can blur truth That is the one falsehood. line to perfectly sum up the <laughs> filler you, of this shit. It? You what? remember him? Well, he got a parrot. That is the perfect line. Oh True my god. You remember that one guy? Well, he got a parrot. And in this parrot, update, we're looking at his parrot. It's the brand new permanent challenge mode, pure fiction. Permanent challenge? You mean like permanent? the Forgotten Hall? Not exactly. In pure fiction, defeating an enemy it's the same will Genshin, dog. I guess maybe I'm more Genshin pilled, so I don't mean to be a hater, but they defeat an enemy. At the end of each battle, <laughs> the like highest that. score achieved in that challenge will be recorded. Trailblazers I just want story so bad. Enemies as possible within a limited number of cycles to rack up a high score. Each phase of pure fiction comes with its own set of buff effects for Trailblazers to choose from, which allows for team composition experimentation That's to cool. maximize points. Observation indicates that high scores hinge on the right cure. Conclusion. Consider the nature of enemies and available buff effects when selecting your your patches also for their battle dog. strategy. Mm, goodness, That's true. Of myself. A quick update, folks. In each phase of pure fiction, you can bag yourself the next a whopping mess. 720 stellar jades. <gasps> and guess what? It's actually more Completing than Gitchin ever does. For the first time Links. Will earn you the four-star character, uh. Lynx. I don't know nothing well, about links. 720 stellar jades? True. I guess there's a lot of like <laughs> stories that I don't do. I'm, I'm neglecting doing those too, so I'm being a expand with stages 11 and 12. Is 720 kind of low for what I usually give. New stages grants an extra 120 stellar jades. Combine that with the first 10 stages and look at that. A grand total of 720 stellar jades. Trailblazers who complete these two permanent challenge modes can also earn a new currency, which they can exchange for items like mm, self-modeling resin in the newly added shop. How much do so I have? Neat, but I gotta see how much resin I have. Seriously expected to take on more permanent challenges each time resin. there's a new version? That's gonna eat into our simulated universe testing time, you know. Huh. Hold your horses, Madam Herda. These two ah. game modes will be seeing changes of their own. 128 From version 1.6 onwards, Forgotten Hall, Memory of Chaos, and Pure Fiction will be updated in rotation. Every Memory of Chaos update will be followed two weeks later oh. by a Pure Fiction event. Subsequently, two weeks after that, so cycle the new Memory the of Chaos will start. In which case, each version contains three such updates, meaning that Trailblazers can obtain a maximum of 2,160 stellar jades across the Forgotten content Hall and, and Pure Fiction events. Earn. In addition, the availability of each phase of Memory of Chaos will be extended from two weeks to six weeks. This means that when a new phase of Memory of Chaos starts, the previous phase will still be available. The same is also true of Pure Fiction. There go. Trailblazers <laughs> will have more time to plan their character leveling and to experience challenge gameplay. Mm -hmm. Me, uh, I will do that. It. And I almost forgot about another significant new feature in version 1.6. Get ready for the Forgotten Hall auto clear function. After the 1.6 update, huh? Trailblazers can directly challenge the highest memory of chaos stage they previously cleared with three stars. Upon achieving a three-star victory, they instantly receive all rewards from the preceding stages. Just heads up that stage seven is currently the highest stage Wait. that Trailblazers can start their challenge. So if you do words, the latest one, all the other ones don't have to be cleared. Stage seven, and I attain the same victory in any given forgotten Whoa. memory of chaos update. I can get my hands on rewards for the previous Skipping six early stages. stages? So if you just have the strong characters to clear. Time saver, it would seem. Wow, that's that's, that's actually the commendable. Update will further improve the user it is until seven though. Set up in the forgotten hall. As Trailblazers progress through stages Still, and forgotten all memory of chaos, the team setup from the previous stage will be carried over by default. Plus, with the new team setup switching and one-click clear functions, lineups can be adjusted at the drop of a hat. Impressive. That's pretty cool. It seems that optimizing Trailblazer experience is a firm priority. <laughs> Absolutely. And guess what else? Version 1.6 will also ease the completion difficulty of daily training, allowing Trailblazers to claim rewards. Don't contact that That's since that. forever. Okay. Additionally, we've introduced a time-limited <laughs> unlock feature for certain material stages. This might require further explanation. 
Simply put, even if Trailblazers haven't explored the latest maps, they can still challenge certain material stages to gather leveling materials for their characters. Oh. And of course, where would 1.6 be without the ever-exciting ticket event? Participating in the Gift of Odyssey Money. event allows Trailblazers to get their hands on 10 warps. <laughs> I think the Trailblazers Every will be version. looking forward to this one. Hmm. Indubitably. She Indubitably. I saw it coming. Alrighty. <laughs> it's that time already, folks. Bye, Albert. It was pretty incredible good. Incredible a lot of quality of life stuff. A lot of in-game stuff. Incredible awards and nominations. Yeah. On behalf of the project team, I, Albert, would like to extend our gratitude. Pardon the interruption. <laughs> you are now speaking with Veritas Ratio. Huh? Veritas it has come Radio. to my attention that your broadcast today touched on certain warp arrangements in connection yeah. with myself. Yeah. If I may be so bold, the current arrangements are pitiful. <laughs> Dr. Ratio! The dissemination and sharing Bro. of knowledge, as well as truth, is imperative. I, in my esteemed capacity, we demand about. that every trailblazer be yes. given access to a proper education. Keep when version 1.6's Pantaray event warp becomes available, every trailblazer who has unlocked the mail feature shall receive, <laughs> via mail, one limited five-star character doctor ratio. That is to say, Wait. me. What? Tyranny of will, I shall become ubiquitous. You get a With free this, ratio? I bid you farewell. And you get a free ratio. Esteemed Dr. Ratio. Dog, what? <laughs> so, <clears throat> I think we've covered what? all the content for version 1.6. Thank you once There's again. There's no to fucking shot they just give away a free five-star character. Uh, but don't go anywhere just yet now. Log Stay in to get a free five IBM star. Genshin, bro, you gotta listen. You gotta, re you gotta look at this. Sunday. We might not have got story content, but I damn. I thought it was Friday today. Question. A free Does ratio. the IPC not rest at the weekend? Right? No. That's two full days of Just because they got award stuff. Uh, trailblazers? You know what to do. Wow. I'm not talking about the weekend. Keep voting for this shit. They're gonna give us I'm more. Talking about <laughs> next special guest. Now I can spin on Kafka fully. All right, next game awards, everybody. Genshin. Maybe they'll give us like ten primos. Ladies and gentlemen. The eld plus ratio Good Genshin. And welcome to the family's charmity festival. Does that mean it's bad? No I way, host, right? Albert. This Maybe this is being generous to give us like a good one. Near at hand in the eyes of the universe. He looked good. Fixed firmly on the planet of festivities. Pentacony. Tonight, <gasps> finally, we're you all the latest on Charmony Festival. First, let's give a round of applause and welcome the organizer of the festival and representative of the family at Pentacony, Mr. Sunday. Good evening, dear viewers. <laughs> oh! I am Sunday. Welcome, good sir. Your presence here, Mr. Sunday. Studio. He looks you like an abyss lector. <laughs> Mr. Owlbert. If it were not for the IPM's generous invitation, I would not have had this opportunity to introduce your Love audience the voice. to our festival. Love the hair. Nor its location. Like, is that, that, is that is like say, wings or feathers? Panicone. Panacone is located in the Asdana star system. Whoa. It is a holiday destination of universal repute, known to many as the planet of festivities. Our guests will be staying in the Reverie. I wanted to a see this. Hotel this is good. where one may travel freely between reality and dreamscape, basking in dreams that are uniquely yours. I'm curious. Okay, this seems hype. What this is what this I want. Festival different from the previous ones. Charmony Festival is a Panacone tradition with a long history. And we have Kinda built like on that foundation legend, right? to achieve something truly extraordinary. The family on Panacone has, for the first time, issued public invitations to various factions of the cosmos, welcoming them to partake in our magnificent ceremony. Members of the five great families 
which together Five great make families. up the family on Penacony, as well as staff members of the Reverie. We are the family. Are united in welcoming the universe to our home. <laughs> Rumor has it that your sister, the cosmic superstar Miss Robin, is set to perform at the ceremony. You heard correctly. Miss Robin. Family, Robin will be singing at the opening of the festival in honor of the Sir Eon could Harmony. never. <laughs> I'm kidding. My sister has already arrived in Penacone, Robin. and dress rehearsals are well underway. She looks good. She looks like show. Kiana. Miss Robin's participation will undoubtedly make bit. the ceremony yeah. all the more dazzling. <laughs> Mr. Sunday, would you be able to divulge any details about the festival's preparation? I love the trumpet all music here. Preparations Me are oh, there's Farina. <laughs> the Reverie's renovation works are drawing to a close. Misha. And so too is its human resources Everybody overhaul. has the same hair. Our level of service will be better than ever. Separately, we have introduced Fireflies and service personnel from the Iris family to Pentecost. Yeah, we actually might like her the most. Facilities. I'm sure they will help our guests to feel right. They're showing out. so many new characters. <sighs> oh, no. to say, oh shit! Is our primary concern. Gallagher. And so the devoted and courageous Bloodhound family will be responsible for security. Oh my God, Hunkai Star Rel Risley. Danger does not exist. Hunkai Star Rel Risley. Dreams. And the family promises that the safety of every guest is guaranteed. R.I.P. your wallets, guys. R.I.P. Of course, the family is also Who the fuck? Duke Inferno! Perhaps of the Annihilation Gang. Or even Bro, it was just a ball of fire. Stellaron Hunters. <laughs> if you cherish dreams and uphold benevolence... Sam! Penacone welcomes Sam. your arrival. It's the most normal <laughs> name. Uh, since issuing the invitations, we have received many replies Sam from various is cool as hell. throughout the universe. Today will be the first time we He's are publishing the guest list. Thank you. That was good. A good ending. Thank you. Executive from the IPC Strategic Investment Department and a member of the legendary Ten Stone Hearts, Mr. Adventuring. Explore, understand, establish, and connect. Together, the name Bro, is a whole meal. Will of Akabili and build bridges between the stars. They just keep coming. Miss Himiko. Himiko. The entire crew will soon be gracing Penacone with their presence. Let's fucking go. Knowledge for wisdom. Calculating wealth with formulas and transcending. They're showing so much stuff at the end of this out of nowhere. Of shared resources. The renowned scholar of the intelligentsia Dr. Ratio. Dr. Ratio. So they're setting up the whole cast we for the next region. We are. The whole cast. And memories are proof of existence. She's committed to safeguarding and sharing these memories and able to journey beyond the corporeal remembrance. Cosmos. Hails from the Garden of Recollection. It's oh, stop. The memo keeper oh, herself, stop. Miss Black Swan. Black Swan. Caring expanse of the cosmos. She looks so the good. Relation exists as a ball. Her sorrow. Fit. Forever resilient. Never disheartened. Ceaselessly untearful. Okay, Black Swan might be a favorite. And here representing the mass fools. Sparkle. Sparkle. Like a Yoi Mia, but path of space. <laughs> journeying from one planet to another, upholding justice. This is the whole guest evil, list for the event. And then doing it all over again. She's been away from the spotlight for too long, representing the galaxy. There Rangers. she is. Akron takes the stage Space once more. Right in May or Shogun. The family, that is an I incredible lineup. Good reveal. Good fucking reveal. Celebration. They fucking cooked, actually. I'm happy with that. I was almost about to like cook into how much I was not happy with this. Pinacane. First look. Bro. That's it? A little that only a snippet? Okay, fine. I can't be greedy. Oh my god, the characters are gonna ruin my bank account. Sorrel, I'm coming back, baby. I'm coming home, baby. I almost was about to cook into how little they had for like what I wanted. There was a lot of like in-game content and stuff, but I don't really care for it as much as I do like the story and characters. That is a good ending. They just ratioed all of Genshin. <laughs>
Great update. Let me know what you thought down below. Come to the live stream. We're almost 100 days live. I am exhausted. I, you can probably tell. I'm going to go get some more sleep. But let me know what you thought down below. Subscribe if you're new. Stay tuned for more Star Rail content as well. I got more coming your way soon, baby. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you the next one. Take it easy. Burn.